There is a lock on this, and there is uh, uh, security surveillance in there too, but here we go. That is insane. Hey, what's up, Suds, and welcome to day one of Brick Fair Virginia 2022. This year, I have a cameraman. Basically, things around here are going to be better. Speaking of better, on my day three vlog, I'm giving away this set on whatnot. And as cool as it is to be able to give one of you Cad Bane's Justifier, I feel like I can do better. I'm going to need to talk to my European arms dealer. Noah. That would be Noah. That might be Noah. Yeah, he's literally in I don't have Wi-Fi mode. <laughs> this is... All right, try to fit it in here somehow. <laughs> the world's biggest suitcases. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Americas. How how you are you? B. I I doing good. Very very nice. <laughs> All the way from Germany. It yeah, has crossed is... the ocean. It has come over ten thousand kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles. Put it up on screen. My precious. To the, the Smeagol bit. That's very nice. No, seriously though, Noah brought these over to, for me to use for my whatnot giveaways. So like, seriously, thank you to Noah for making it possible for a couple of you guys to win one of these. Like, it's 100% thanks to him. Yeah. And, and whatnot, they paid for the, them with their money, so. Let's get the second one. You'll have to get the money. Oh, we don't, hey, we don't, we don't, we don't need that. what the heck what did that say? We don't need to, uh, we don't need to read that. A so. deal gone sour. <laughs> Where's my gate? I'm not saying. I'm sofort. I'm not, mein Geld, aber jetzt sofort. I'm not saying I don't believe you. You're not oh. So over the years, Ryan has been a particularly big fan of this Lego set, and I thought, you know, something that you'd really enjoy is having like a piece to, you know, display behind this. <laughs> <laughs> is this your way of saying no. you're making a Teen Titans Lego set? I, I... Just keep your grubby hands off my ATTs. Actually, my fans' ATTs. Oh. They're not even mine. I'm giving them away. Seen it. Yeah. Wait, nope. Put it down. It's confidential. I just want to touch it. I want to feel it. Oh, you can touch and feel this, Cody. Here you go. It feels beautiful. <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> stroked it down. <laughs> Made it the best buy because we need more camera stuff. This Lego section sucks. That one's got a sticker on it. Yeah. Well, look, kids don't care. Kids don't care. It's all that matters. That's the only thing that matters. We have made it to the brick fair. Very exciting. We need to get all the stuff. We bought it at Best Buy. Uh, new SD cards, new b b earphones for cameraman Jared. I got him this backpack to like carry the camera stuff. What? Stop. That's disgusting. <laughs> Ain't this a pretty sight? You're excited? <laughs> you look excited. <laughs> all right, so Michael and I, we're gonna go take a look at some of the shopping Availabilities. This you, got, is you already Rick looked. Fair mic'd up session. Brick right Fair now. mic'd up, yeah. <laughs> they have a Brick Fair coin. 25. Ooh. Oh, no, that's a. No, it's a Lego coin. I know. It's a, a counterfeit. I know a secret technique for these. It's called tip Just it. Tip it. <laughs> <laughs> the tipper technique. Ooh. These are actually nice looking empty boxes. I know. They're like. This R2D2 box is tiny. Ooh. See how tiny that is? Yeah. And five seconds after I stopped filming, I run into this Five. Guy. It was like four seconds. Sans is going to come clear out these castle badges. No question. He might clear out all this stuff, too. <laughs> He's going to want all of this. It's the, it's the man with three Apple Watches. So I got this one. This one tells me everything I need to know. I got the time, the weather, the date, my battery. The only thing it doesn't tell me is the seconds. <laughs> this is what that one's for. And the but third how one, do you read the seconds? I just look at it. Oh, you just look at it. Okay, <laughs> just I get look it. at it. And the third one is just for fun. Three Apple Watches. This is the kind of money He's we're flexing. dealing with at Brick Fair, Virginia. <laughs> He's just straight up flexing. He's, this is this is bad. Actually, I actually have pretty good de deals on figures. Ten bucks a piece on the the one eighty seven. That's that's a rare. This is Pat a rare. Pat just clone. paid Pat just paid twelve dollars a piece on one eighty seven yesterday. Oh, Sans is gonna want that too. Whatever these are, he's, oh gonna, he's gonna. Oh God. Oh, that's uh, is that Melville? Yeah. Is it? Oh, oh, that's awful. Dude, wait, 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 wait. What? Sus pack. Sus pack? I actually have to get these for my nephews. How many are you buying? Five dollars? Five dollars each. For your nephew? For my nephews. That's so funny. I feel like it's, it's now just... a good time to tell you you have another nephew and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a sus pack? <laughs> I kind of, it'd be funny to open one. Red is sus, so I mean, Red I have is to sus. get, yeah, I have to get that. Can't believe I spent $30 on sus packs. All right, packs. Michael, Michael gifted guess, us a sus pack. I guess and I have I say to open us, one. the royal we. Everyone on this channel, this is a, you're a partial <laughs> owner of this sus pack. You I got tan. I don't like it. Ooh, I got blue. Michael, I don't, can we trade? Oh, it has cheese on the head. Never mind, I don't want to trade. <laughs> He's a cheese head. You oh. are imposter. Stop acting sus and get to your, does this mean I kill you right now? I'm also an imposter. <laughs> no, 
<laughs> ben here is trading me. This isn't part of my trading video. It's before the trading video because I need the thing to start my trading video with. This you can have the M and M's too if you want. Heck them. yeah. Okay. Good trade. Yes. Ben the brick builder on YouTube. Ben the brick TikTok builder. He got me the stud that's gonna get me who knows what. It's good to see you, Ben. It's been so long. Oh, What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> we got Brandon's package here. I think the, the original deal was $1,000, although I'm hoping to double that today through some, some tight negotiation. So Kept I just made an offer. Number. He couldn't refuse. Just, oh, I just nice I, battle pack. <laughs> nice battle pack. You can open it. So actually, I think inside. I'll just be trading a poly bag for this because this Possibly. is just a poly bag. It is just poly um, bags inside. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, worth about you know 30 bucks. This is just parts you can buy on Bricklink. It's every million 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 for the box. This that's is, what kept me away from it. It's this is, that's and the box is for. just recyclable, this, so. This level of collecting is so cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and we are all guilty. There is a lock on this. And there is uh, uh, security surveillance in there too, but here we go. <laughs> I want a house so bad now. This is amazing. Funny thing though, that is fake paperwork. So what? a guy made fake paperwork and sell, was selling them What's for this? $50 instead of the 500 that the real one was going for. This? Oh, yep. really? He printed it out, it looks legit, but he admitted that it's fake. I need to look at mine <laughs> when I get home. <laughs> oh, we have the closet too? Oh my god. You just take the door Why off this. Like, oh. You should have, it, should have a double lock. You should have a lock on this door too, and then put the super. <laughs> So are you taking the gunship apart or still building it? Building it. Okay. Wow. This is it's insane. It really is. All of this is what's built out there. Honestly, though. Okay, okay. Here is my um my vintage I I as a kid. I, these are my right. original oh, playwith as a kid. Some of them are sealed like this that I'm buying now. Sealed versions. Yeah, I bought that seal just recently. Um, this is minifigures that are mint, brand new out of box, right. like human bags. Ooh. This is as if you were to walk in and say i want to buy Here's the, uh, any lego three, star wars set ever made almost every single one is here what do you not have still the original cloud <laughs> city and i'm waiting on that one because i think the hype is a little too high right now mm. um the, tw the twilight which is actually really common but i haven't yeah, found a mint one yet hmm. um the original dual mustavar um the the second and best mtt from 2007 yep. a mint box of that is very hard to find oh. and one that's like the UCS right, yeah. ATST, <laughs> which is hard to find a mint box as well. I'll have to look at my So box down to five own. regular sets, um, about probably 15 exclusives, and then about 20 or so, 20, 25, three in ones, which I'm working on getting imported from Europe. Yeah, sure. Um, but they're even rare in Europe, so. Um, that's, a, that's a lot of mini things. This display loud. case is like a Brimmies or something from Ikea. Really? And um, it just so happens to fit battle packs. Perfectly. I will be buying How these. How much is a case like this? Wow. Um, it's 150 with the yeah. glass doors. That's it. That's it. A very good price. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be like 600. So if I didn't explain, because I don't know if it was explained in the vlog, Brandon tries to buy every set. Like he said, he said mint box. He means mint box. Like perfectly, yes. the most perfect boxes you can imagine. Like not a scuff or imperfection on them. So it is like an insane so like collection look, to look, you look at. Here. Uh, all these mint boxes, these are actually wrapped in plastic. Um, so I can touch them with my hands, <laughs> not get them greasy. It keeps dust off them. It makes sure the seals um, stay tight. Yeah, I, I'm that uh, particular. Um, he's even got the mint uh, brand new 4 plus ATST. <laughs> this actually belongs in the exclusive cabinet. Oh, so this is, is misplaced. Like, like, of course. Like this. Yeah, chuck, chuck that. Yeah, we'll That's worthless. This. this goes in there. And then we have, it's going to be a thousand I mean, these retail, I mean, that only retails for $5 less than this did. So, I mean, yeah, potato, this, potato, that's the next honestly. thousand dollar set. Yeah. Easily. Yep. Could be. Probably not, but you never know. This, this is insane too. <laughs> they have that. This is, this is definitely a favorite of mine. This is a very clean box. Again, wrapped in plastic because um, oh, they have to wrap in plastic. I'm particular. I'm going to oh, yeah. get a glass display, like end table kind of thing mm -hmm. in the middle here. Nice. And these are going to go there, but. To uh, oh, 
That's so crazy, crazy looking. So hard no, okay, hold on. Can we talk about this while we have these here? Because I feel like this is Let's, an underappreciated part of This is a, this is a great Star history um, yeah. item right here. I think you, there's a third. In uh, black and white? I don't think so. The TIE Interceptor is mostly black and white, but I think it has a little bit of color. Mm. Blue and color. Yeah, I thought but so. But I think this might be the only two. Yeah, so this was... These were like the 18 plus box. I don't, if you want to talk more about it, you're more welcome to. I, I know a little bit, because I know that this is dumb. <laughs> and I don't think there's a box is there a box in here I mean, so there sh should be no box inside here so there's potentially and ryan nor myself boxes. are certain about this so if you know comment in this video i'm pretty sure if you open one of these uncolored boxes there's a colored box inside it's the opposite so there so there's potentially, a bigger box there potentially might be three boxes in existence and, look it up. and there is the black and white versions which are the original that's why i collect them but they did not sell well. They did not attract attention. I on the can't shelves. imagine why. <laughs> and people are confused because they think yeah, it's a black and white. And Lego especially set. for Darth Maul, that's like like his main attribute is yeah. I have red on yeah. my black face. It looks amazing. And they like, oh, show, you want to show the back of the box? <laughs> so what I have <laughs> heard so is that these were actually repackaged. Oh, just imagine. And, and some of them were pulled off the <laughs> shelves. Literally, and just imagine into a larger colored box. And then they also then release the future ones exclusively in color boxes. So there might be three versions of boxes. I don't know. If you have them for sale, reach out to me. <laughs> yeah. So what's once you have everything, then what? What's next? <laughs> once I have everything. Well, the question is, once I have everything. Well, they'll keep releasing things. So um, there's that too. There is yeah, that. Yeah. But some exclusives might take you know a year, two years, three years to get. That's I true. will be applying for what Ryan calls a scam, which is the Guinness World Record. Um, I do currently have more than the current Guinness World Record, but I know that guy is continuing to collect yep. as well. He's at 789 um, open sets. He collects open sets, and currently I have 822 sealed unique sets. A um, little different collecting <laughs> right. goal there. Um, but yeah, I will be submitting for that. And Guinness World Record doesn't we'll even know who has the real world record. It's such a, I agree, it's a scam. <laughs> I, that's my. <laughs> and if anyone knows... Anyone that's watching with a larger collection, shout them out because that'd be cool to know. I, unless they're like private, private, I doubt it. They probably would be. As far as like separate things, I mean, yeah. I know people that definitely the have most more expensive, like expensive, like what the the Scottish guy, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah like a man Scottish. That, that's a whole. He thing. just that's has that's really insane. unique. Yeah, yeah stuff. That's, but he doesn't. I don't. His family's. I don't think he does so. this kind of stuff, right? <laughs> like he doesn't collect like every Lego Star Wars yeah. or whatever. No, he just goes really rare stuff. Yeah. But yeah, once I have it all, um, maybe I'll sell it all. I don't know. Uh, yeah. There is some other collecting journeys I want to go on. I want to collect a lot of vintage, like, 90s, 80s sets. Mm -hmm. Sealed in a box, which are even harder. Like, yeah. original pirate sets and stuff. Oh. Um, it's a whole different game. There's, there's just so much to collect in different ways that maybe I'll just add it on and or have a bigger place and have a second second room. How would you I sell? I could never. You I don't have cool. to sell this as a <laughs> lump sum, right? Like, that would be the only way to... No, yeah, I would just, you know, one at a time, take smack a giant price oh, on there and uh, find a billionaire. Find a billionaire. That's just... You ever get it, your hands on a better condition conveyance transport? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> subject. Okay. That's why I, I must, said it. I must admit That's why something. I said it. Not every setting here is meant. What? I yes. just I'm remembered. Here, dude. I'm I just, just remembered. That's there are about it. three or four sets He's that are damaged that I will be replacing, <laughs> but I've had um, terrible experience with. And then some. Someone call it out. Where, where is it at? It's right there in the middle. There, right right there. next to the right of the hoth. Yeah. Is that not taped? There you go. Yeah, I, was, I, I saw it, so that's why I wanted to bring this it up. This is the fourth one I've ordered off eBay. And he uh, sent me like every actually, single one on Actually, a lot Instagram. of them are like, And yeah. every single one, even when asked not to, has come in the priority flat rate long box. And those long boxes just bend right in half, uh, and you get a crease. Most of them have come with a crease just straight down the middle. This one came with a little bit. And yes, you're watching, you're going, this guy's nuts that that box. <laughs> yes, yes, I absolutely am nuts. I uh, won't mint. I saw it. A thousand percent. Ass. Whoa. Wow, dude. What'd you pay for this? Um, this I bought from Atlanta Brick Co. So okay. I actually saw it on Instagram on Atlanta Brick Co. Right. I remember um, you drove down. Yeah. Called them up immediately because yep. of the condition, and yeah. they confirmed with me that it was an original owner. Um, and I said, you know, I will pay it. I negotiated barely. <laughs> I drove 10 hours to pick that up. Wow. Um, hours. I picked up a second set there and got to see Atlanta Brick Co. It's always a good experience. Yeah. So. That's crazy. This one I picked up just recently. Um, yeah, and both these are original owners, Mint. This gentleman was local to me. He bought it actually at the same Lego store that I shop at. Uh, right. 
if you're at Brick Fair, Virginia, it's the Tyson's Corner, like sure. So <laughs> we'll probably be there. Um, That's wild. But yeah, so Top he actually kept this year. in an air controlled just house for twenty for almost twenty years. Yeah. And then he decided to sell and. Um, I did hurt his feelings when picking up. I told him that a few years ago this was worth about double the value, and oh, yeah. I shouldn't have said that to him. He, I, he gave me a little bit of a oh <laughs> really? I've built almost every Lego Star Wars set, um, ever probably 60, 70 percent of them, and then I've sold them. So right now, <laughs> um, of course, I'm obsessed with Mandalore right now. I have a spot for the new ATTE. These all IKEA shelves too. They're all way. five. Yep. These are all Ikea Detolf, D-E-T-O-L-F yeah. displays. But the, So someone told me these don't keep the dust out like perfectly. They don't. And what I do is... Uh, you can seal them yourself though, right? Yeah, you get like weather okay. strips. Literally every week or so, uh, I open them. <laughs> and there's not much, so you just literally spray I mean, it off. Strategy. And as long as you don't let it build up, it's not sticky. It right. just comes out. Vacuum. I run an, a fill, um, air filtration system over there. Um, and that works fine. I love this. This is great. My favorite shelf yeah. right there. That's the uh, Wicked Brick display for the Ghost. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> um, they take two months to uh, deliver something. <laughs> yeah. that, that Ghost is such a good... Uh, do you know your mini legs are backwards? You know, that is... Um, <laughs> not a big deal because it only takes not about 45 minutes to open that show display the, case, case. Um, to fix that. In fact, I knocked off um, one of the things deal. right before I sealed it all up, so oh. I'm probably never going to open that. This Django Fett, this is actually the, my oh, favorite okay. item in the collection. The if you look very closely, you'll see there is no cornerware, That's which is pretty so much long. impossible to find a Lego set in existence without cornerware. This is, I bought in... I think around, I want to say like 2010, from a collector that bought all the original sets off the shelf, handpicked them, and made his own custom acrylic display cases. I encountered, that guy was loaded. <laughs> I encountered someone just recently that was living in Australia on Instagram that yeah. owns one of the yeah, sets from this. It's, yeah. So now they're spread across the world. Um, cool. Incredible. I would have bought them all, but at the time, I was a broke, young Happens. kid. Yeah. Um, so I paid... At the time, about two hundred dollars for this. Oh, that sounds sad. Uh, which is a great price, but at the time, that was one of the most expensive things I've yep. ever bought. I mean, you really learn something new every day. I thought this would be like the software. Oh, it's got a box in the back too. Yeah, this is not what I thought the combo oh, very cool. pack would be like. And so this set they released three times, three. and then I swear Lego at some point was like, "Yeah, we don't do all these remakes and re-releases because people didn't like them and didn't buy them." And I'm like, "Because this is what your re-releases looked like." Back. To Four, five years in a row of literally the same exact set like you can't like this isn't what people would want in a re-release like this but yeah so these are the ones we were talking about jared with 7150 and 52 having them like separate like that yeah um, so so these were um re-releases and from what i have learned i think it might have been only re-released in germany yeah i've never seen it and this is the only time in lego star wars history where for some reason they changed the set number just by adding a two yep. to each. Um, and also, weirdly enough, they made the the, the numbers large, like yeah. font. It looks not good. But this is a very neat piece. It's not wrapped in like a, what is it? Like plastic. a saran wrap. It's a hard plastic just piece that's taped on the front. Um, right. Very interesting set. Didn't know about it for years. I think they use the same exact picture every time too for the Y wing, and they only Just, changed the Darth Vader picture because they changed the piece on top to the dome instead of the flat piece. I remember that. Yep. Yeah. Oh wait, you have all the foil packs. You have them all. Yeah, you, yeah. Except you, for the most recent. Did you just get them from... Um, no, most of those I just paid ridiculous prices for as they show up in the US. Foilbax! Yeah. There's a lot here. Yours look... Yours generally look... Foilbax are hard to get in good nice good shape. Yeah. These uh, are most of them look pretty good. I just started. I have like four. I don't want to dig through, it, but uh, there's, there's a lot in there. That is every single there's... foil pack except oh. for the recent Darth Maul and the Mandalorian. Which uh, I'm, I'm getting a Darth Maul. I thought this was going to be foil be packs, too. It is more poly bags. not foil packs. Poly bags. You need the Kabaya boxes. He does have them. They're in oh. the... Uh... Okay, just making sure. The poly bags were my favorite um, thing to knock out because, relatively, they were just so affordable. <laughs> <And they're>, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can get them all. Like, I was just like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Two of each bow pack, ideally, is the goal. Ooh, I need to um, yeah, usually. I 
okay. actually usually yeah, I have, I have about them. 50 battle packs, <laughs> and then I sell them when they go in value and just keep a few. You so, may, know, may have yeah, noticed that. I don't know if we saw it. A bunch of file first battle packs down there. Plenty. I've run out of space. If you're 15 right now, and you don't have a job, and you want a bunch of file first battle packs, suddenly three years from now, you you're get, like, oh, I can you get, get your job, or one year from now, you get your job, mm -hmm. yeah. you can go out and buy them and pay 50 bucks for them, and it's yeah. worth it. So it might there's always be, that new yeah. addition of interested buyers that weren't able because I knew when I was growing up, my parents were absolutely against the idea of buying two of a Lego set. They did not understand it. <laughs> they were like, no, that's stupid. We're not doing that. I'm like, please, please. This is, there's supposed to be an army of these. But they didn't get it. <laughs> it says build your army on the box. <laughs> and that's why I'm buying the original 2008 battle packs from uh, Michael right now. Because... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I, I enjoy thrifting on occasion, and so I was, oh, I, I, I was at the coast visiting my parents, and so we decided to take a trip to, you know, a place about an hour, an hour away, a thrifty store. and we went to five thrift stores there, On the second one, I walk in, there's like four or five bags of just Lego pieces, so I, I take them off the counter, and then this little girl comes up, and she's like, are you taking all those? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to be buying all these, Yeah. and then she goes to check out with her parents, and then I turn to the right, my nephew's actually pointed it out. I see that set in a bag though, but it's used. But that set right there. So it's used. It was used. used, so it was used but hundreds of dollars. Was it complete? Did it look complete? Yeah, complete. Well, all the crumb pieces, twenty-four bucks. And she 24 asked, bucks. she asked the clerk to grab them, and she took Ugh. she took that set for twenty-four dollars. And that little and girl that used, hasn't been seen since. Yeah. <laughs> She's gone missing. That's never, like the once in a lifetime. Yeah, the holy grail you look for in, in like Lego collecting where someone has no idea what the value is. Exactly. And that, you drop the ball. Yep. What That's the? That's sick. So Nerf has gotten into the Black Series. I do collect a little bit of Black Series as a little bit over there. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah just a little. Like a hundred there. And this one um, actually shoots like pretty... Compared to the Nerf that I remember as a kid, they had no velocity. Yeah, they're just... Like these actually out. have pretty good velocity, but... um. Is made to look just like the actual Mandalorian gun. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Dude. Shoot, Michael. No, I take you warm, warm, or I take you in cold. <laughs> oh, it's got the scope. Yeah, we're gonna do it. The dark saber is the worst ever. The blade is bendy. Oh God! It really? makes no you? sense. Don't drop your stuff, Michael. That's some nice Legos you got. I know. It'd be ashamed if you got mugged in the hallway here. You're <laughs> okay. That's fine. I'm Batman. No. <laughs> and that's a wrap for day one of Brickford, Virginia 2022. Make sure you check out our future days on the end screen now.